This is a very brief overview of the project control documentation which comes with the certification course. It is the recommended template for running the project uh, that, that we recommend to use from start to finish whether you're a complete novice, haven't run projects before or an experienced project manager who's used to running projects along the domain process. The reason for that is it takes you step by step and just prompts you along the way right from what you can see here in front of the project charter so the questions just gives you a little prompt so what's a specific problem you want to solve that is affecting the business so when did you first observe it who is most affected by it what you'll find is by entering the answers to these it'll it'll prompt you to think about the project that you're looking at more thoroughly and help you come up with the answers and the solutions that you need to to come up with as you go through it. The outputs from this will also give you a very good foundation for your improvement plan going forward. So it'll help you populate the lines that you need to populate in the in the correct order. So you're not trying to do things out of sequence. So that's that's a project charter. Scroll down a little bit so you can see the full the full range of that. Obviously down here you've got the signatures as well. Project sponsor, project manager, finance manager, what the estimated savings from the project are going to be, then the validated savings and what we've actually realized at the end of it. Going through to the next stage, define. Again, the definition of the improvement project with over here the mandatory checks. So just put in a simple tick in here and then maybe a hyperlink over here to another PowerPoint presentation maybe or spreadsheet or series of data links will help you get through the project in a much more seamless manner and keep you honest all the way through as well and again the inputs into here which will then become the outputs help you populate that implementation plan. Measure once again it's a question and the mandatory checks just acting as a little bit of an aid memoir as you work through and right the way through Demaic through the analyze just scrolling down on to improve similarly what are the things you need to be keeping your eye on the ball for control have we got all these in place? As I said, very, very brief overview. Just to let you know, once you sign up for the course, you're not going to be left on your own. This is one of quite a few templates that are included in there. Uh, again, we're always on the end of an email, on the end of a phone. If you've got any questions, any problems, just give us a call. We'd be more than happy to help. And if the template that you do need as you're going through the project isn't in this lot here so the templates we've got here 5S control chart templates cause and effect this one the domain control documentation fishbone or Ishikawa diagrams FMEA A3 report templates pick charts problem countermeasure sheets standard operations sheets so you don't have to come up with all these off your own back all the Excel spreadsheet templates are in there that you will, or, or all the basic ones are in there that you may need. In addition to that, if you have a specific requirement as you go through the certification course, contact us because there's a good chance that over the years that we've been implementing improvements in different businesses, we will have a template that may fit your needs. And that's anything from basic capacity planning through to telephony calculating resource rates or call volumes. I think that about covers it for this. Hope that was useful for you.